right. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us on the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pacheco, and today I have Christy Garcia with me. Uh, Christy here is a leadership coach, speaker, facilitator, and founder of Mindful Choice Leadership Academy. She has 17 years of experience in sales, recruiting, and coaching. For the last 10 years, she has worked with current and upcoming leaders from fast-growing organizations, including Airbnb, Twitter, Movement for Life, and Sunrun. Christy, welcome to the podcast. Thanks, Michael. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, thank you so much for being here with us. So let's jump right in here. Why did you become a coach? You know, funny story. I I didn't even know what a coach was when I first started to learn about it. My, at the time, coach boss, actually, when I was in Moon's Medical Sales, the birth, I started to talk about starting my own business and he's like, oh, you should be a life coach. And I thought that was just the hokiest thing I've ever heard. So I'm like, okay, that's not really serious. And so I went to a school and I'm like, well, at least let's see what it is. If anything, I'll get something out of it. And so I started getting certified as a coach just for my own well-being. And then as I started through that program, I realized, hey, this is actually something. And I'm not really on the life side of it as much as I am the business side. So I finally realized, oh, wow, I can take these life coach concepts and really apply them to business and start to build my own programs to then maximize how organizations are developing their own leaders. Bringing humans back to business was kind of the ultimate goal when I started. It's awesome. And what are you doing now in your coaching business that's unique? So I like to say one of my superpowers is helping people manage their ego. You know, I, so ego management is kind of the niche of the Mindful Choice Leadership Academy. Right now, we've got a digital platform that is getting ready to be released to both individuals and organizations, which is really exciting. Most of my work has always been done in the organizational platform. And so being able to bring it to individuals is very, very exciting. This work is transforming people's lives, not just in their business, but at home too. You know, the ego shows up in every single interaction we have. It's our unconscious behaviors that we aren't even aware of them until someone starts to point them out. And so this work just really quickly points out those unconscious thoughts, mindsets, and behaviors that really sabotage our good intentions, our success, and ultimately our relationships. That a lot. How do you find your clients? I, you know, In the past, I've been very lucky word of mouth. Now we're starting in this digital arena where we're starting to just reach out, try to make some warm connections, starting some webinars, really just really finding people through, I think, good old fashioned virtual handshakes, which is is a hard thing to do, but I'm slowly learning how to do that successfully. (laughs) Kind of how we met. I like, I like the, the old fashioned virtual handshake. Yes. Yes. I think there's a science here. I haven't quite figured it out, but I'm, I'm meeting people who have, so it feels a little better than just the, the grind of the virtual right. connections. And question number four, what is the biggest challenge that you currently face or have faced in the past as a coach? I think the biggest challenge for me right now is probably establishing solid team members who are attached to the vision. You know, I think for me as a small business owner, it's been a one man show for so long. And now that I'm ready to grow and expand into that next level, it's really finding the team members who want to be a part of the brand, not just the contractor who wants the paycheck. That's been a struggle for me this last year. I feel like I'm finally getting over the hump, which is exciting. I have some really awesome team members right now. As a small business owner myself, I can relate to that. (laughs) Yes, I think everybody can. It's a tough one. (laughs) Question number five, if you had a do-over in your coaching business, what would it be? Oh, that's a good question. You know, I think honestly, you hear so often when you're starting your business, like just do it, you know, don't worry about the perfections and figure it out yourself. You need to know all the ins and outs. I really follow that model, but my personality, I think... I do much better when I just put the experts in charge. And so I think for me, I wasted so much time trying to learn things to do it myself to then know how to do it in the background. And it's like, that's just not necessary for a lot of business owners out there. My advice to them at this point is, you know what, if you're going to be taking loans out, if you're going to be going into debt, time is money. And so if it's going to take you six months to learn something, take that money and spend it on the expert who can get you up and running tomorrow versus waiting six months, a year, two years, and you're still talking about the project you wanted to get done. I like it. And our, onto our bonus question. What is one book that you recommend all your clients read? Ooh, I like that one too. Just one? That's so hard. 
I want to make sure everyone listening in knows that you did not get that question beforehand. So you're being put on the spot right now. Yeah, there's just a list going through my head right now. You know, honestly, I think the number one book that always comes up in every single client relationship that I have is the book, The Power of Now. And I think I use that one because it really is the basis of managing your ego is you have to be present. You have to control your mind in order to control your emotions. And the only way to do that is to be present. And so that book is a really good tool to help people understand what, what the value is of being in the moment right here, right now. There's no stress. There's no worry. There's no emotions in the moment right here, right now. So that's a good one. I, I that's recommend one. That's Eckhart Tolle, I believe. Yep. Yep. That's a good one. All right, Christy, thank you so much for, for joining us here. Do you have anything that you want to pitch or promote and where can people connect with you online? Awesome. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, actually. So the Leadership Academy, the Mindful Choice Leadership Academy is going to have its next cohort start in May. We are getting ready to open up registration as we speak. So you can reach me at uh, www.mindfulchoice.com or you can even send me a message, 415-971-9535. I'd love to chat to anybody interested. Christy, thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Coffee with Coaches. And thank you to our audience for tuning in. We'll see you all next time.